So now then, today this is a bit of a Sherpa top tip. I'm on top of uh, top of the camper van, looking down. Here's my chimney setup. So let's have a little look at what's going on here. Can't really see the screen, but so I got um, I got an H cow for the van because they're a really good idea when the wind's a bit swirly and it's blowing it blows smoke back down into the camper van it's not really much fun so these H cows sort of solve that issue because you can go down here like if the, if the wind goes all wild it can go down and it just whatever it does it draws it draws the it draws air out so you don't get it puffing back in so that was a brilliant solution to a smoking fire and I highly recommend it so the way that the cow actually fits on is that I've got I've just got that bit of pipe there which reduces goes inside there obviously I can't drive along with this whacking great thing sticking up so I have to have it so that it can so I can take it down and put it flat but then you know I've got a hook on that side with a bit of string just anchor it down the same on this side there you go jobs are good and it seems to stay there so I hear you asking what's going on with these with these flower pots well the thing is is when you're burning wood and it's not 100% dry moisture comes up the chimney as well and that moisture comes out of out of these out of these tubes so it catches if I can get focused in in there you can probably see it yeah you can see it like rippling around you can see all that watery crap it's creosote actually creosote water and it's the same it's the same in that one as well so yeah this chimney when it drips out Instead of it all going on the top of the van and staying in the top of the van, it's very staining stuff. I don't know if it's corrosive or not, actually. It might, it might be interesting to see what it's like painted on a gate, as they call it, creosote. But anyway, there you are. That is the top tip is, yeah, the H cowl is a brilliant idea. But then when you've got the H cowl, then you've got all this dripping moisture. And my top tip to, for that solution is these uh, is these amazing little lightweight plastic catchers, and then just emptying them out every couple of few days. Right, remember where you heard it last? Over and out. Sherpa's top tips.